Hi, Kevin Fry, Field Agronomist for Pioneer here, and today I'm standing in one of our Enlist demonstration sites. I want to talk to you a little bit about the Enlist herbicide system today. Uh, I want to begin with just a little background. I've been helping with farmers with weed control options for quite a few years now, and I've always been a bit of a nozzle head. That basically means I tend to nerd out when it comes to weed control and herbicides. I've been at this for almost 20 years and I've seen herbicide programs evolve and change and unfortunately I've seen weeds that evolve change too, mostly developing resistance. This resistance development has made weed control much more challenging. Broadleaf weed escapes like mare's tail, palmer, and water hemp are, were just about virtually impossible to, to control post-emergence, especially when they escaped, prior to a couple of systems coming out. Now, the first one of those systems came out was the, the Extend soybean system. Uh, and that gave us a great tool for the toolbox, but it proved to be challenging to work with. Uh, mistakes were easily made, and now there's a cloud of uncertainty around that system. Now I want to introduce the Enlist system a little bit, as it's come forward as another option. As a weed scientist, this system is, is one that really excites me. Uh, it gives us the opportunity to attack those troublesome weeds with multiple effective modes of action. And that's the key, the effective modes of action. Enlist E3 soybeans are tolerant to glyphosate, glyphosinate, aka Liberty, and 2,4-D choline, aka Enlist 1. Now, it is the ability to spray post-emergence with a mix, mix of Liberty plus 2,4-D choline that really excited me but I didn't really get a real appreciation uh, or uh, experience for this system until I personally sprayed these plots, one of which is standing here behind me. Uh, that's when I really got to personally experience the power of this system. Come on, let me show you a couple things that I learned during this plot. Okay, the first thing I learned is that Extend soybeans were planted on the head rows, end rows of this uh, Enlist demonstration plot, unbeknownst to us. So as you can see, that Enlist and Extend beans are completely different. Uh, Enlist 1 will do a very effective job at controlling Extend soybeans. Now the little gap you see there in between there, that is the area where my boom misses. Now, the next thing I learned as we walk up here, this would be the first treatment of the Enlist program I sprayed. This was my third plot sprayed, and as I approach this plot, you can see there's some cupping that's going on here. Now, to the left over here, this is a, an extend spray application over here, and this would have been my first Enlist application. The trouble is, is that this was the third site that I had sprayed, and I must have mixed up a couple of bottles, and this shows what proper, without the proper clean out, how easily injury can occur. Now, this one was, was completely my fault. I didn't clean out the bottles properly, and ended up getting it mixed up, and I've got a spray tank contamination is here. And this is a good example of how easily that can happen with a minute traces amount of dicamba in a non-dicamba tolerant soybean. Now, I did a couple of uh, intentional plots while I'll show you, but this is one of uh, mistakes that I made that I did want to show you. Okay, the next thing I wanted to show you is how effective, you know, do these spray programs work? Do they control the weeds that uh, we're tar targeting here? In the background there, just past that orange flag, you can see that's the end of the plot, and that's where I was, uh, did not spray. I stopped at that, basically that red flag. The first treatment you're looking at here is the three-way combination. So this, this uh, treatment had glyphosate, glufosinate, Liberty, uh, and Enlist 1. Now, even with a little bit of uh, injury from my tank contamination, contamination, you can see we've got very good weed control here. Now, as I move over here to the next treatment, you'll see this treatment here is just the Liberty Plus Enlist 1. Again, it did an excellent job at controlling weeds post-emergent here. As you can see in the background, there's quite a host of uh, it's pretty much all red root uh, pigweeds back there. It was, there is some water hemp mixed in in this site as well. And then the last treatment I want to show you here, this is the Enlist Duo application. And here you can see where this is Enlist Duo is glyphosate plus Enlist 1. It's a premix called Enlist Duo. I sprayed that one here. Uh, and it also did a very good job at controlling these weeds post-emergent. The weed size at time of application, uh, they were roughly in that four to six inch tall height. Uh, most guys would probably even say they were a little taller than what they should have been, uh, but unfortunately that was the timing when I was able to get out here and make the spray application. And even at those weed heights, they did an excellent job at controlling the weeds. Okay, next thing I wanted to show you is what tank contamination can look like. 
This particular treatment is one that I did intentionally. So what I did here was I did have some uh, dicamba ex, uh, extend soybean treatments here as well. And what I did is well, after I sprayed uh, one of the dicamba treatments, I left a 1% solution in, in the tank. So basically what I did was is after I sprayed, I had my actual field application uh, solution that was there. And I put 1% of that back into my next bottle that was basically filled with just water. All right. So basically this would give you the similarity or the comparison is if you had a thousand gallon tank and you happen to have 10 gallons left over. So maybe it was a little bit laying in the booms, a little bit laying in the bottom of the tank, however, and then you went and mixed up your next batch and then went out to spray some non-dicamba tolerant soybeans. This is what even just a 1% solution damage can look like. And I'll kind of get in here a little closer so you can see. This is how quickly and easily we can damage soybeans uh, with dicamba that are not a dicamba tolerant soybean. Now, I did the same thing within the Enlist system. Let's go take a look and see what that treatment So this is the Enlist contamination treatment. So what you're looking at here is extend soybeans. And in this case, I took my Enlist Duo uh, formulation. And after I was done spraying that, I took 1% of that solution and put into my dicamba treatment to simulate a tank contamination here. And this shows how much more tolerant soybeans are to the 2,4-D as opposed to dicamba. So this is just a great example of the, the safety that can be within this program. And this is one reason why soybeans aren't listed on the enlist sensitive crop. So basically, long story short, what that means is, is that when you're spraying in the enlist system, what soybeans your neighbor has planted, you really don't have to worry about, to, about it. You could spray right up to the border of those fields and not have to worry about uh, any injury going over to those beans and causing a lot of the cupping that we've been seeing in the last number of years. So in that enlist system, soybeans are not listed as a sensitive crop. Illustrated here where I had 1% tank contamination of enlist sprayed on an extend soybean. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick little tour of our Enlist demo site here. If you're looking for any more information on this, we're going to be hosting some uh, small little field days this year. Uh, we've got three of them in our, in our area here, and they're popping up all over around the country as well, no matter where you're from. Uh, just contact your local Pioneer sales rep or employee for more information, and we'll be happy to get you some information so you can get out to one of these locations and check out this system a little bit more closely and, and in person. Uh, for additional information, be sure to check out uh, Enlist online. Uh, there's an online training you could take called Enlist 360. I encourage you to do so there. There's also a very handy mobile, mobile app called Enlist Ahead. Uh, you can download that and have all this information at your fingertips as well. Uh, thanks for watching today and keep walking your fields.